Mr. Wayne, what is it like being compared to a god? Uh, I didn't know you liked me that much, sir. Seriously, seriously. What? How do you feel about being a comic book character? Um, it's a it's a real honor, sir. You always dreamed about that growing up, or? No. No, never. No. Do you have any oh, favorite yeah. comics growing up? Uh, All he ever wanted to do was... My favorite dance. comic book was the Kiss comic book. Gentlemen, here's time. Here's time. And uh, I was really excited when that came out. You know, they, they put some of their blood in the ink. And for our comic book, we put some of our semen in the ink. Yes! In the white ink. <laughs> if you notice, the white's a little off. It's a little yellow. Or in Trips Case Red. <laughs> so, Wayne, how do you feel about people telling you that you kick ass? Uh, it's awesome. Because I do kick ass. Care to elaborate? <laughs> uh, would you care for me to kick your ass, sir? <laughs> Did you have any favorite super uh, heroes when you were growing up in comics? Batman. Wait, no, the Dark Knight no, stuff. No, you don't have time for Donkey Kong. Yeah, like no, no, you don't have time for it. The Frank Miller. You gotta do, dude, you gotta do a rock show. What's he doing? Playing Donkey Kong. We'll play, play one more round of Donkey Kong. <laughs> we're about ready to walk. Well, let's go then. No, we're not, because I'm not ready. The Flash. I like Flash and Iron Man. Morbius was pretty cool. And I like Karate Kid. Comics. Iron Man's uh, suit got ruined. He, he bought himself the old one versus the new one. It's pretty rad. Nope. What are you looking forward to most about this new comic? Uh, I think the whole thing's cool just because, uh, I mean, anybody that says that they never, you know, any kid that's a kid that read comics, at one point you sat down and you drew yourself or somebody you know as a superhero. You know, but it's just kind of, I don't know, it's cool. You know, we're not, we don't have superpowers or anything in the book. We're just, we're just like, we're body organic. We're body organic. Starting the revolution. Cool. It's going to be, I think it's going to be pretty intense, too. It's not, you know, it's definitely not, like, just a kid's comic. It's going to have an interesting story. Very graphic. Do um, you think it'll fit your fan base well? Huh? Do you think it'll fit your fan base well? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Right here. What the fuck are you doing, man? Trip, how did this um, storyline come about? Well, one day I sniffed I the wrong end of the hairspray bottle, and yeah, I woke up in a cold sweat. I had this bad dream. 
I was back in time. Back. I was in a. I was in, in a. Time. I was in an organization that you had to assimilate by having dreads in your hair and wearing certain kind of clothes. <laughs> oh, this is a true story. Yeah. This is not my life. This is not my home. This is I had a vision of a futuristic society controlled by dread wearing elitists and uh, they had implants put in your head so as they answer questions a certain way. So how did it uh, feel to help Wayne escape? Well, I was against helping him escape actually because uh, he looked good all tied up. <laughs> Trip. Yeah. Who are your favorite oh, superheroes in comics when you're growing up? Green Lantern. Any more? Spectre. Lost all for the rich and famous. <laughs> <laughs> you're not naked, are you? Yeah. You dirty, dirty son of a bitch. You can't use that. <laughs> Tony's got a pee. <laughs>